Today's video is brought to you by Thermaltake, makers of the TTE Sports Line, the Level 10, and many other mice, keyboards, and peripherals. What's up, tech fans? Welcome to Tech of Tomorrow. Today, we're looking at the ECS A85F2-A Golden Motherboard. Now, this is a badass motherboard based for the AMD fans out there, supports Piledriver, all their latest CPUs. And one thing these guys want to push is gold. Now, this shit got the bling, man. I mean, this thing Flavor Flav could wear, and it'd be on his neck. But that's some of the main things about it. It's a golden board, which means that basically the entire board is gonna be gold. We did a video on this earlier for the Intel series of CPUs. Now let's look at the AMD version. First off, let's open the box and let's check out the features that they're bragging about on their inside cover. So all right, folks, I opened up the front cover. Right here, they have their non-stop technology. This is basically all the different ways that they've tested this motherboard, made sure that it worked correctly. They have five-star stability. Over here, they have THX audio. Here, once again, they say friendly design, three times the extra gold. I think the Gigabyte had 2X of the copper on the board. Now, these guys are having three times the gold. So that's pretty trippy stuff. Over here, we've got the other inside cover where you can see it's the A85 F2-A Golden. Supports the AMD A-Series APU in the FM2 package. So down below that, we have the extreme performance for your gaming station. They have two-way GPU CFX. So it's 75% boosted. DDR3 2600 overclocked, 140% boosted. Here it says once again, three times the extra gold. Over here we have their hyper alloy choke. It says hyper durability, 1.5 stability. You can see down here, they show all their caps and chokes all having gold and all that good stuff on it. So I won't bore you with this stuff anymore. We'll go ahead and unbox this bad boy. On the other side, if you're out to purchase the board, though, they do show it like this. So I might as well show it for you folks. You guys can see, here's a picture of a knight right here. ECS Golden Board, the first and only. Shows Golden USB 2.0 eSATA, Golden VGA DVI, Golden DisplayPort HDMI, Golden USB 3.0, Golden LAN USB 3.0, and Golden Audio Ports, and even a Golden I.O. Shield. So that's the rear I.O. Shield. Pop that. You guys can see you can see it right here. Down here, it has all the different things here. I'm going to just bring this up to you guys. Some of it you can't see, but it does say it supports the A10, A8, A6, A4. All of the socket FM2 CPUs. So let's go ahead and bring this thing out of the box. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this thing out. Once again, we have the box section, box within a box. I'm spinning it around. All right, it's a spinning black box. No, all right, it's not. So, inside you can see it's all in its little cover there. You find where the little thing pops open here. Bang it up. We'll pull the motherboard out of the way. First off, let's take a look at the accessories pack. Let me pull this box out of here. It's kind of caught on the lid up here. All right, then. got that out of there. Let's talk accessories. Flip the cap here, spin it around here. We see two, four, six, seven SATA cables, seven all red SATA cables. We see the golden rear IO. The manual, the CD, all your drivers and all that good stuff is going to be on here. And then we have the ECS Elite Group. This is like their installation guide and all that stuff. Shows you all the basic stuff. I know you guys all want to see the board, so I'm trying to get there as fast as possible for you folks. All right, so that looks like that's all that comes in that. So we'll move past the accessories. Kind of light there, but hey, you're looking for the board, right? Get this thing out of its packaging here. And now let's start looking at the board. All right, folks, so here she is in all of her glory. Let's start up right here. We can see the first of the eight pin power connectors. To the right of that, we see the first CPU fan. Now you guys can see that all the capacitors and everything all over are made of gold. Over here, we see all of our chokes and everything. And you can see we once again have a gold heat sink right there. Makes a nice little musical noise. Hope you guys can hear that. 
Actually, I'll bring it up to the mic just so you guys can hear it. So it's the musical golden board. Over to the right of that, we have the memory. You have four channels right there for DDR3. It supports 2600 overclock. We saw that on the outside of the box. Here is the ZIF socket. You guys can see that all the way around, there's actually pretty good room for using any aftermarket solution like a water cooler or anything like that, which was what I think most people are gonna use. Over here to the right, once again, we see more golden components. And we see the 24 pin power connector right here as well. Move down, we see some more golden parts down here. It's all gold like they were saying. Down here we see another gold little heat sink. Now, as far as the PCI, we have two of them. They're both 16X. One is located here, one is located here. They're actually spaced far enough apart so that you can use many of the larger cards that are available on the market right now, especially like some of those giant cards that you see that Asus makes, they're giant size. We see one, two, three of the PCI 1X slots and then two of your standard PCI slots. Now I'm gonna move the board over to the side a little bit. Now to the right of the board, we see the SATA ports. There are six of them, and they are all based on the latest SATA 6. Right above that, we see the eSATA port. And you can see once again, it says serial ATA, six gigabits a second. Flip the board around again. The battery says Easy Charger USB 3.0. What that means is this will basically charge here down here, we see the Easy Charger USB 3.0. What this means is that when you use this bracket right here, you can plug things into it and it'll charge your phone and all that other good stuff. Here's all the rest of your external headers, your USB 3.0 external. We see two more system fan ports right here. We got SPDIF, COM ports, a lot of stuff you won't use, an audio port, most people won't use that. I'm gonna flip the board around to this side. Here we can see some other functions of the board. Low EMI, HD audio, GigaLAN. Another thing it says is it says ESD protection. Now what ESD protection means when you're plugging things in and out of your board, you won't get an electrical shock and blow those things out. They're usually located right below any one of the ports that you're using and it's a good thing to have. I'm gonna flip the board now finally to the rear IO where we can once again see that everything is based in gold DVI, VGA, HDMI, IEEE. We have our little reset the CMOS button here. Then we have eSATA, two regular USB ports, and then we have one, two more sets of the USB 3.0 ports offering you four on the rear IO. The LAN port, and finally, the audio, including digital. All right, everybody. I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is a pretty nice looking board. It's really geared for like the boutique type user though, who's looking to build something to make it look like bling. I mean, obviously, if you're gonna have somebody who has their case closed on the side, I mean, this board's not gonna be that all appealing, but if you're a guy like this guy out there named Al, he does all this Purple Heart veteran stuff. He built his system all in gold. You guys might have seen that floating around Facebook. You guys might want to support him as well. We'll have a link down below to him. So if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. You guys know all the bull crap that happened last week between me and my old slavers. I'm now a free man, and I hope you guys will sub to the channel. And once again, I know that a lot of people out there gave me hate because I guess I used to fight a lot with the trolls and stuff like that. I apologize for that. This last year has actually been the hardest year of my life. You guys have no idea what it's like to just slowly watch your dream be sucked away like a vampire taking the life out of you. But now I'm free, I'm here for you, and seriously, for all those folks out there who've been supporting me via by sending me money or anything else, I love you folks and I will freaking remember you. And if I, and also, I'm going to be giving this motherboard away. So I want you guys to look in the description below because I'm not even going to tell you how to enter. I want you guys to look in the description below and then see how to enter. So that said, I'll see you guys later and we'll see you back here on Tech of Tomorrow. All right, folks, you're always asking how you can support the channel. So here I'm going to let you know how. You guys can show love to our sponsor, Thermaltake. You guys know they make all kinds of great products. We'll have a link in the description below where you can go check their products out over on Amazon. Thanks for watching.